Hello! Today we're going to be going through a scene where you create a player character that can slide around under objects. Uh, this came as a request from a YouTube comment and I very much appreciate it, keep them coming in. And as before, all of the resources can be found on the link in the description and downloading the zip file. And credit for the art assets on this, uh, in this example go to GameArt2D for providing the uh, Creative Commons uh, sprite animations. What I thought was particularly interesting about this, uh, about making this, is sort of about acknowledging that this solution is not perfect. Not that any solution I put out I'm ever going to claim is absolutely perfect, but there's a, but character animations and especially like character controllers and the way players interact with the game is the hardest part I'm going to assume, I'm going to put out there. It's probably the hardest part to get right, but also the most important part because if players uh, cannot inter are frustrated by inter when they interact with your game, um, it's going to go poorly. And this is something I found out uh, when I was making this. And so you'll see if you go into the scene settings, there's two. One called using tween and one called using behavior. Um, using behavior was the first one I tried making. Let's take a look at it um, before we even dive into how it works. So the way using behavior works is, um, oops, well, that's one of the, that's one of the outcomes. Um, what using behavior does is it takes the default character controller behavior and when you press the down arrow key um, it reduces the uh, it reduces sort of the friction so if we just take a look in here and I won't go through it in too much detail not that there's a huge amount to go into but as you can see if the down key is pressed um, change the deceleration to 200 it's ordinarily at 1500 and when the down key is released uh, change it to 1500 and so that's how you get this slide behavior. So you press down and you slide, um, and then you can come back up on it. But as I was making this, it felt really unsatisfying. And when I gave it to a friend to play test, they also weren't really happy with it. They didn't really get it um, because they pressed down too early, then you get stuck here. And that's kind of what inspired me to go, right, this isn't, even though this is technically an answer, I could technically make a video on this and use it to demonstrate, um, oh, look, the character can slide. Um, it's not really what I wanted to go for. And so with that being said, I created this second one called using tween. And so this is using tween. Using tween works a lot more reliably. Um, your character will always um, will always go uh, to the other side of the block. Um, and yeah, so this is how it works. Um, most of this is just general character create, character animation setup. So if our player is jumping or falling, uh, let's change the thing to jump. If they're moving or if they're not moving, set the animations to idle or run. Um, this is where the interesting part happens. So if the player is on the floor and they're not currently sliding, um, if the down key is pressed and the player is within 100 pixels of a slide obstacle, so they have the same tile asset, but uh, one is called slide obstacle. Then what we do is begin a slide and we, depending on which way we're facing left or right, we basically set a point 70 pixels either to, either to the right or to the left of the slide obstacle and we tween us there. So we set our animation to slide. We say move us uh, to 70 pixels right of it and then uh, this last thing over here just resets it. So once this tween's done, uh, remove it and then reactivate the player controller. And so that's how you get this behavior um, that the player, regardless of whether you tap it right at the start or right at the end, it'll always reliably go to the other side. Um, and yes, I'm aware like some of the, some of the graphics look a little wonky and jittery. Um, this is part of the optimization I couldn't get done in sort of the time I wanted to make this video in. And so that's how you make sliding and that the actual sliding part was fairly straightforward um, for me recognizing that or the interesting part was recognizing this is an ever this is a, this is code that if I was making a game that involves sliding I would ever be tweaking and changing working out how do I want it to take longer to slide do I want to take shorter slide um, what animations do I want it to do and then you know fixing various graphical bugs Anyway, there you have it. Thank you very much for watching and feel free to leave comments, thoughts and suggestions for future videos I should make. See you at the next one.